before we hear Christ was in the game overall? Yeah, I had a ball. That was the first thing. We came out healthy. Uh, I thought the guys played hard. Um, that their group really played hard. They played a long stretch of minutes there. And I thought, you know, taking care of the ball, I think we had 14 turnovers for a preseason game. That's pretty good. When we rely on 77 and 11 uh, to dominate the ball and, uh, you know, make plays, um, I thought the group, especially in those guys, did a really good job, you know, the group of protecting the ball, getting shots. We got to the free throw line, we got to, you know, make some free throws. But I expected the first game guys to be a little rusty. So, um, but a lot of good things, the energy and the effort was there tonight. Um, and so we can build on that tomorrow. Yeah. We talked about defense before the game, uh, 19 steals, and like, got, got, you were able to get out of transition. How, how, how much did you enjoy seeing that? Yeah, you know, just the deflections and turnovers that we created. Um, but that group tonight, uh, it's a plus, it's a positive, something that we can build on. Um, again, um, being able to protect the rim, um, I thought Gap and, and D-Live and Sharp did a really good job, and BP at that time when he was playing the five. Um, but, you know, just the deflections, the active hands, uh, and then being able to, you know, convert. We didn't shoot the mid-range too well um, tonight. I think we were two for 16 with the middy, so we got we to be better at that or don't take them um, and, and shoot at the rim on threes. Um, but I, again, um, for our first time out, I thought it was really a positive experience. And we'll watch the video tomorrow and we'll get better. Jason, you said uh, Lively was going to start with the first team. Obviously, it was more of a second team out there actually starting. Just curious, what was the decision going into the gap or getting the nod? Yeah, just wanted to see something different. Um, look at the rotations. We've done this. Um, we did this in, in Vegas at Gap with the first group. Um, and then with you know, so many people out, we just wanted to see different guys playing with each other um, rotation-wise. And, and I thought Gap and D-Live did a really good job. And they, you know, I think they picked up where they were last season. Uh, it doesn't matter who starts or who, who finishes. They're cheering for one another. And we'll probably most likely start someone else at center on Thursday. What, what, what's going through your mind when uh, Derek Lively takes the ball full court and uh, finishes? Uh, he, I think um, Tyson's been showing in his point guard skills that that the need is high, um, you know, so I got to go ask, I got to go talk to Tyson about what videos they're watching, point guard videos. Um, but I, th I think it's great that he live his, his ability to, uh, we know he can shoot the three. Now he's shown that he can put the ball on the floor and play make and get to the basket. So, um, you know, we're going to try to take advantage of that. But uh, again, uh, his skill set is like no other. He keeps developing. He keeps showing us what he can do. About the way uh, Hardy got himself and the others involved. Yeah, I think with Hardy had nine assists. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think uh, being able to score, not just be known as a scorer, but he's making the right play. And so to be able to start, um, he had some good looks early, but what I like that he kept playing, um, and his, his, his motor was high, but I think also his voice, he's out there talking, and that just shows you know, his comfort level of trying to lead that group that was out there on, on the floor. But again, we all know he can score the ball, but he was making plays. And uh, even with the turnovers, he was trying to make the right play. And we'll, and we'll look at that as a positive, too. Hey, Tyson, you've been playing with Lively for a while. Uh, what's the difference between Lively and Lively? Oh, he's really good. He's good. 5'8", all the 5'8". Um, but I loved uh, his uh, effort his ability to attack and play make. He was really good tonight for Memphis. Uh, and I wish him the best of luck uh, with his NBA career. Coach Kidd, when looking at Najee Marshall, he handled the ball a decent amount in space tonight. Is that something that, I know he wasn't playing with Luka and Kyrie tonight, but is that something in the regular season, if he gets a long rebound, are you wanting him to push it? What do you think of his ability to handle the ball tonight? Yeah, you know, I think uh, when you see if, if Luka or Kai's out there, we try to, you know, get everyone to push it besides Luka and Kai. And so for Najee, his ability to be able to do that is going to help us. Uh, you know, that takes a lot of the you know, load away from, you know, Luka or Kai to have to fight to bring the ball up. Um, we're, we're trying to push, you know, PJ to do the same thing. And so when you have guys like that who can bring it, it just makes the game that much easier. When you look at the teams that have won, you know, those championships, the Celtics, all five of those guys can bring it. And so the more guys that you can have that can play make and that can dribble, 
it just gives you an advantage. And so uh, with Najee being able to create and uh, bring the ball, it just makes the game easier for his teammates. You talk about a lot of guys competing for that final two way spot. So what do you think of uh, Gabe and Corbin? Uh, Corbin's tough. I, I, I love what he did tonight. Um, his, he was uh, aggressive. Um, he shot the ball extremely well. Uh, he got us organized. He kept us organized. And so there was a lot of positive things that he did on both ends. I love that he picked up. Um, again, he's not scared. Um, it's, he's tough. And uh, I thought he had an incredible night uh, tonight. Um, we have, you know, the last spot's going to be interesting to, to see um, who we can go with. I thought Sharp did a great job. He was out there running wind sprints because uh, he never really got to touch the ball. But he, you know, he was out there. Uh, he could affect the game too. So, uh, and then the other one, you know, when we look at Kessler and AJ. Um, there's, you know, opportunity there. Um, Kessler's, you know, he hasn't played yet due to the injury, but hopefully, you know, we like what we've seen uh, on tape with him, and we can't wait to see him on the floor and uh, see if he can get one of those two-way spots. Thank you, everyone.